Well, this weekend is the CHEO Telethon on CTV Auto, and it's a chance to introduce you to the patients and the staff of the hospital and help raise funds to support care and research over at CHEO. And this morning, we want to introduce you to Nick Francis, who is a patient at CHEO, and Jacqueline Belsito of the CHEO Foundation. Nick, it's an honor and a pleasure to see you. Thank you so much for coming in today. I mean, you're a patient at CHEO, and you went through so much. But back in 2015, uh, you had the accident. Uh, the, yeah. the, the tragic accident where you suffered serious brain trauma. Uh, talk about the care following that that you received over at CHEO because it's pretty staggering when I read just how how amazing the care was. And that's what I was thinking every day there. I, I just felt very at home and at peace there. And they really, they really seemed to reach out to me and help me throughout the way in a way that that is hard to recreate. It's, it's it's hard to it's hard to describe. It was so wonderful. Well, I mean, just look at the growth. I mean, you're an athlete. I mean, and you're still an athlete. I'm gonna tell you that right now. But look at where you are. Like, how does it feel to know that that? I mean, there's a lot of things that you you won't remember. But to see where you are now, knowing that that story and the experience that you went through, like, how does it feel now? Because I mean, for the staff at Chio that you were going through this entire journey with, they're family to you. Absolutely. Wow, this is amazing. And one thing I want to ask you, because I know you, you've had some accomplishments, some milestones that you reached uh, as far as during your recovery as well. Can you speak up on that? Well, I, I have to thank Chio for that <laughs> because they, 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 seem to really, they seem to really get me in the direction and get me to that goal of mine to, from, my, from the, the, the being in the hospital bed being in a wheelchair to being in the wheelchair to the walker walker to cane cane to walking and now walking to running and before we know it it's just going to be maybe even flying for a while well who knows you're going to be the quarterback for the red blacks one day soon too exactly exactly <laughs> well also you have some goals coming up that you oh. want to achieve as well can you speak up on that i i have many goals uh one of my big goals is I would love to be a part of, uh, well, I would love, I love being a part of punching with uh, a purpose for the Chio Telethon. Mm. And I, I have a high hopes for that. Well, that that's going to be outstanding. And the punching with purpose is coming up on Sunday over at the EY Center. And you can definitely become a part of that as well. But I, I want to ask you, Jacqueline, like, I mean, to hear this amazing story from Nick, I mean, so insp inspiring. I mean, you're an inspiration for a lot of people, Nick, and I just want to let you know that as far as myself and so many people that you cross their paths with. But, I mean, this is an example of the amazing stories, uh, not only from the patients, but also of what the staff, uh, you know, has helped create as far as for the patients and the families that have walked through that door. Well, it, um, so I think Nick is a perfect example is, uh, Nick is part of our family, right? We are family now, and um, we're his and he's ours, um, and that's how we treat all of our patients at CHEO, and I think those are the kinds of things that you're going to hear at the CHEO Telethon, and so we want you to tune in, and in particular to tune in, because Nick is going to be punching for a purpose on Sunday, nice. just around 1.30, so we would like our viewers to come in and tune in for that, and donate during the telethon. Wow, that's going to be outstanding. Nick, thank you so much for coming by. And just so everybody knows, he's also an inspirational speaker now. He speaks upon just his journey and working with Chio to help him go from where he was after that traumatic injury and accident to where he is today.